Steven Universe is shit. I suppose I should support my claim, but it's just too depressing how terrible this show is. Bitch, I will- I've slogged through all of it too, every cringy, mind-numbing, spirit-rending minute of it. Even though I fell asleep every couple of episodes because it was somehow even more boring than The Legend of Horror. I feel like such a failure. Did I mention that this show is shockingly bad? <gasps> But most everybody who disagrees with that assessment will never not disagree with it. So this review is for all you folks who couldn't stomach this shit pile. Don't worry, you're not alone. Spoilers ahead, everybody. Steven Universe is one of the many generic, flatter than Hanna Barbera cartoons on the We Couldn't Successfully Imitate the Disney Channel network. It was created by Rebecca Sugar, a Jew, the network's first female creator, and written by Matt Burnett and Ben Levin, two super white, presumably straight males? Oh dear, women. You still can't make your own cartoons? A little sad, don't you think? I guess this is checkmate, feminist. Oh, hold on. What do we have here, Matt? God forbid, uh, ah, a Christian. Wink, wink. A piece of media not include super masculine, self-insert, super-powered hero characters for straight males to identify with. Steven Universe is about a young boy with a chromosomal disorder that puts his IQ squarely around room temperature. He's also fat as fuck. He's looked after by his lesbian moms, Garnet, Pearl, and Amethyst. Yes, they're lesbians, and we'll get to that. But I see that you are responsible parents to caregivers. Guardians. The moms are called the Crystal Gems, and they're from a race of sexless, sapient, shapeshifter rock aliens that aren't women, but they're women. But they're not really women, except they're women. So well played, Rebecca Sugar. That's precisely how you get shit past the sense. So the show's about this fat zone as moms going on adventures and protecting the Earth from other gems. Yeah, they haven't been real clear on why the gems are fighting their own kind, or why in a world that's apparently constantly plagued by gems, nobody seems to give a shit. But we can chalk that up to the show's glorious world building, which we'll get into in a moment. Now, if I did a play-by-play -play of every mistake made in every episode of this show, we'd be here for around 20 hours and ain't nobody got time for that. Luckily, I don't have to do this, because almost every episode of this show is the same fucking episode. In fact, Steven Universe follows a formula as reliable as Phineas and Ferbs, only without the self-awareness or the once in a blue moon clever writing. Here's how the formula goes. So the episode always starts out with some problem, whether it be Steven being a needy little attention whore, the gems being on their period, or there being some alien threat to deal with. And Steven will be all, why don't we do this to fix it? And the gems will be all, fuck off Steven, we're gonna do it our way. What are we gonna do? What? Me? What a twist! But in the end, the gems finally come over to whatever Steven's idiotic idea was, or they meet someplace in between, and everybody lives happily ever after until the next episode where they do it all over again. I swear to god, cartoons are now just sitcoms for children. I always get what I want! Steven Universe does not have an overarching story, despite the illusion of one, and there's no true progression. With every new episode, Steven goes back to being the chunky, oblivious retard he was previously, having learned nothing. And the Crystal Gems continue to view Steven as the chunky retard that he is, oblivious to their own retardation. Although to be fair, Garnet does stop to listen to Steven sometimes. Pearl does not, and Amethyst is too busy stuffing her fat fucking face. You've made fun of people at your rallies for being overweight, so mean to get a laugh? <laughs> Even when you read glowing reviews for this show, they're desperately scraping in the bottom of the barrel for praise, with nebulous things like its portrayal of women, you know, rather than its portrayal of characters. Take the titular character himself, a fat, mentally retarded child, and try to find anybody praising him for being himself. Pro tip, you might, but it's really fucking hard, because it seems like everyone only ever gives Steven credit for being what he is, rather than who he is. And no, I don't mean the idea that he's a half-alien or something. I mean things like his character being a subversion of traditional masculinity, because he is unafraid of showing his emotions and is comfortable being around women. To say it another way, Steven is hyper-emotional, rather than emotionally immature. Steven, we're getting you out of here. Come on. Ah, this is great! We're all together! No business thing! and has very few male authority figures in his life. He has his father, who's a fat slob who lives out of his van, but Steven doesn't live with him. Oh, and Steven is also his own mom. It makes about as much sense as it sounds. 
Steven Universe is also praised for the diversity of its cast, which include... Jews, black men, obese purple women, bigger, more obese pink women, neurotic white women, crippled bipolar midgets, furries, hook-nosed Indians, yeah. hipsters, psychopaths, and... Hey, where are the East Asians? Yo, what the fuck? You have all the colors of the rainbow, but you don't got yellow? You fucking racist! I can't fucking believe this shit! It's the current fucking year! Like I alluded to before, there's no actual character development in this show. Some people will try and convince you that there is. They're wrong. But no! But no! And the art for these characters is terrible. I personally hate it. But that's objective! And who cares if everybody in the show is notoriously ugly? Still can't get over Pearl's Corvax nose. Ugh. The animation quality is on par with Spongebob's. I'm ready! Neither good nor outrageously bad. But the pastel colors and backgrounds and shit, well even those pale in comparison to the most generic of anime backgrounds. Let's see, what else do they praise? Ah, the voice acting. So it was kind of like, ah, she's a badass, and she says that shit, and she's trapped, oh, and she's getting it. Oh. Yeah, there is no reason to praise the acting chops of Steven Universe's VAs. And I'm not going to even touch Nicki Minaj's cameo. <laughs> No, I'm talking about main characters, like Garnet, the leader of the gems, voiced by Estelle Soiree. I'm sorry, but this woman cannot emote to save her damn life. Don't defend her. Paradise is out there somewhere and Pearl's been distracting us with nothing. I don't feel like forgiving Pearl. I don't understand, you must. If you're not going to listen, then you can just go! Unbelievable! Disgusting! This is unheard of! No! You're wrong! What do you mean? We couldn't have known they would do this! This is where they've been! All the ones we couldn't find! They've been here the whole time! I don't know whether to be upset or laugh, I'm like... Fortunately for her, she hardly needs to. Emote. As Garnet is a man. Abyssus and Pearl get the best lines. Their expressions when they're performing, I'm always like... Oh, I gotta be calm and be like, stop. You know, like, it's the best thing ever, but like, when you see how it translates on screen, it's kind of like, oh, that's a lot, that's, that's a lot. Then there's Steven. Now we have to replay the final dungeon all over again! It's not fair! Just shut the fuck up! The rest of the voice actors do a serviceable job, but aren't anything special and are as liable to annoy the shit out of parents as SpongeBob ever did. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about the music? Is that praiseworthy? Oh! Let the bodies hit the. No, not really, no. Decent in some places, but the rest is either desperate attempts to imitate classic Disney. Go ahead and try and hit me if you're Asian. <laughs> Or just low effort hipster crap written by Sugar herself. I like a lot of like silly little vaudevillian style songs, but I still only know like eight chords or something. Neither worthy of praise nor scorn. Next. Aha, the world building. Surely that deserves a modicum of praise. Steven. Mm. Steven. Mm. Nope. So Steven and his gem moms are on this beach in a city called. Beach City. You know what the home world for the gems is called? Gem Home World. Go back to the Fire Nation! <laughs> now, for some reason, the gems have to stop other meanie gems from fucking up the earth, and I don't know why. Rose Quartz believed all life was precious and worth protecting. Wow! They were doing something awful to the planet, and your mother couldn't stand it anymore. She told me that's why she had to turn on her own kind. But why? Why not? And uh, there's this evil force called the Cluster incubating in the Earth's core and it wants to eat the planet, I think. And the gems aren't really doing anything about it other than there's a plan to make a drill to try and reach the Cluster. But I have no idea how that would help and nothing has come of it anyway. So... What the fuck? And you get to catch teeny tiny glimpses of this world building buried in hours upon hours of this. Stewman in the house, what you got? What you got? I got mom's cream pie. Porn. 
I say it all the time. This is what happens when cunts don't fucking grow up with a positive male role model. In life. Then there's the real subject of Steven Universe's praise. The lesbians. Here's my laughy savvy. <laughs> You're embarrassing me in front of Steven. <laughs> 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 you see kissing on the lips all the time it's like when you're getting like into like the neck and the chest and stuff like that I'm just like wow something about that seems like just a little more sexualized than what I'm used at least what I'm used to seeing in Kitchen. I'm not saying it's bad yeah but they're I'm saying in love. I don't usually see no no I'm not saying it's but not really though because they're not technically women but gems okay remember that guys they're not they're, they're not women the gems are not binary or sexually dimorphic okay you got that they, they still go by female pronouns and take the form of unambiguously humanoid females but but they're not female okay hey hey these lesbians here these lesbians they're not women they're not lesbians either they're strong independent gems okay not women and i mean everybody loves the portrayal of women and how there's finally queer representation for the mentally ill but they're but they're not gems i mean they're not lesbians they're gems they're they're non-lesbian non-women who are into chicks but they're not women what? Let's be real, the Crystal Gems are women. Okay, okay. And they're all lesbians with this giant pink one named Rose, who was in Lesbians with Steven's dad, which might sound contradictory at first, but when you realize just how much he looks like a lesbian. Oh yeah, and Rose is dead. And now she's kind of Steven, so the Crystal Gems use him as a kind of proxy lesbian. A bit disturbing, but I'll let it slide. It's no more disturbing than these two being so in lesbians with each other that when they have lesbo sex, they turn into a black man. Did I mention that there's lesbian sex in this show? Uh, wait, 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 I'm sorry. It's called fusion. See, they don't contort into these provocative poses because there's anything inherently sexual about fusion. No, 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 no. It's just their transformation sequence. Much like this is a transformation sequence. <laughs> And what literal Neanderthal would consider this suggestive? It's 2015, people. 2015. Kids these days! I'll tell you what! But wait a minute. Isn't this rape? You need to tell Garnet it was you! I don't understand. I'm sorry. It's just so much fun being sardonyx with you. <sighs> you tricked me! No, 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 we just needed a reason to fuse. I just wanted to share a few more victories with you. No, we just needed a reason to fuse. No, we just needed a reason to fuse. No, we just needed a reason to fuse. You know, we're so much weaker than you. Fusing with you is like our one chance to feel stronger. I can't believe Peridot is giving us so much trouble. But it hardly, hardly matters, right, Garnet? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Sugar, this is getting a little dark. But in spite of this scene, the show is apparently teaching kids the wonders of consent. Because as this comment so wonderfully communicates, there are little boys the world over who never learn not to. Rape. So it's a beautiful thing, really, to teach kids how to properly consent to. Rape. Because otherwise, how would the kids know not to rape? Kids love rape. The fusion aspect is one of the most intriguing, acting as a stand-in for physical relationships. It's why a part of me broke watching Keeping It Together. The fucking irony. I watched two characters that I have grown to love and know face a forced fusion, wherein beings were combined into a monstrous, hellish mass of limbs without their consent. One of the heroes, Garnet, usually cool and collected, trembles as it approaches, her eyes wide in fear. They forced were forced together. together. They, they were forced, forced to fuse. fuse. This, this is, is wrong. wrong. A children's show, everybody. Meanwhile, Rebecca Sugar herself has admitted, quite pridefully, that Steven Universe was intended to tear down and play with the semiotics of gender in cartoons for children. <laughs> 
Hey, a little trivia for you. Did you know that gender is a social sciences term from 1955, coined by a sexologist named John Money? I did not. Gender is defined as the state of being male or female, typically used with reference to social and cultural differences rather than biological ones. In layman's terms, gender is not your biological sex, but what you mentally think is your sex. Now, some of you might be thinking that the brain is biological, and so there literally couldn't be any separation of your mental state from your biology. To put it another way, there'd be no meaningful separation between the terms gender and sex. But John Money thought differently. He thought if, say, a boy were socialized enough to be a girl, that boy could fundamentally be a girl. That is to say, he thought there were no innate differences between males and females, contrary to the entire field of biology. Now, John Money was unable to get anybody to take his gender pet project seriously until a boy by the name of David Reimer came along. Upon birth, David lost his willy during the penile mutilation ritual, and so Money found the perfect opportunity to swoop in and perform a bout of human experimentation. He had the infant boy's testicles lopped off, replaced it all with an artificial vagina, and then had the parents raise David to be a girl while undergoing hormone treatments. Furthermore, he had David, as a young child, imitate sex acts with his twin brother to normalize David as a bottom. Money even had the brothers undress and engage in genital inspections, which he took a photograph of on at least one occasion. Money described the experiments as successful, though David never ended up identifying as a woman and described his visits with money as traumatic, but whatever, close enough. Except that in adulthood, David's brother killed himself by ODing on antidepressants, and David later shot himself in the head with a sawed-off shotgun. You're always going to see people that are going to say, well, the Dave Reimer case could have been successful. Um, I'm living proof, and if you're not going to take my word as gospel, because I have lived through it. Who else are you going to listen to? Who else is there? I've lived through it. Uh, like, I, is it going to take somebody to wind up killing themselves, shooting themselves in the head for people to listen? To this day, there isn't a single shred of evidence supporting the existence of gender, in humans or the rest of the animal kingdom for that matter. So remember kids, when you use the term gender, you're using the unproven terminology of a mad scientist who happily committed human experimentation, tortured a pair of twin boys, and drove them both to suicide, and got away with it. But I'm sure there's nobody else who would want to experiment on children with such a thing. Now, what else is Steven Universe praised for? Oh yeah, one of the more popular talking points for not being Steven Universe. Congratulations! Congratulations, Steven! Yeah, yeah! Congrats, little man! Thank you all. You're going to hear a lot about how it pays homage to a whole host of anime, like Dragon Ball. She just gained 10 power from that one punch! 7,000! It's over 9! 10,000! Or Sailor Moon in Revolutionary Hora Utena. Utena? Utena. Among others from the Maho Shoujo. <laughs> the Maho. <laughs> or magical girl genre. I don't like Dragon Ball, although I begrudgingly respect it, and I've hated everything I've seen of the Mahofa show genre. Yes, even Puella Magi Madoka Magica. <coughs> so it comes as no surprise that a bastardized fusion of those things would utterly fail to tickle my fancy. No, we just needed a reason to fuse! Then there's the fandom for Steven Universe. This shit writes itself, folks. I haven't seen a fandom more hated, more despised, more vilified than the Steven Universe fandom. It's apparently worse than fandoms for My Little Pony. I was wondering if, you know, maybe If maybe you'd like to have sex with me later, you know, I'd really... I'd... No! No, 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 of course not! Oh. Oh, I see. I see. I I'm sorry. No, 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 it's my fault. No, Dash, it's my fault. I shouldn't have asked that. I went too far. Or Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, oh, what? Oh, no! Oh, that's bad! <laughs> 
What's missing? Oh, hi. There you are, pretty buddy thing. I don't know if it's good that you're staring at me. This is totally different than any horror game I've ever played. Oh my god. This is terrifying. What are you doing there? You might be getting a little close to me. Oh no. Oh no. 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 No, no, no. Ah, oh, fuck. No. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Fucking fuck. We're homestuck. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> and they're still getting more action than you. Or Undertale. Running to another day. I want to break away and take the leap. <laughs> Or Sonic the Hedgehog. It's chilly dog time, yeah. Or Smash Bros. Now, Axe, in top eight of Evo this year, how worried were you that you had to play against Silent Wolf? And how did it feel to body him in 56 seconds? I mean, do I look worried? Game! Or PewDiePie. Haters. Or Legend of Hora. Oh or Attack on Titan. <laughs> or Frozen. Or Isis. Or Doctor Who. Or Sherlock. Or Evangelion. Too deep for you, faggot! <laughs> Not sure if it's worse than the Supernatural fandom because... Ooh, baby! But the list goes on and on. The Steven Universe fandom is so bad that there's practically a fandom for hating their fandom. But why are they the worst, ER Senpai? Here's a list! My favorite one was this whole debacle with a fan artist on Tumblr going by the handle... Zami. Zami? Zamat! Now, Zami had drawn up a great deal of Steven Universe fan art that wasn't quite meeting Tumblr's standards. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, I love this gift set! For instance, take this depiction of Steven and his parents. Not bad. Girls got talent. Notice any differences, though? Tumblr sure as fuck did. And they went hog wild on this girl, hounding her for her fat phobia and all of her other not so internalized phobias and isms. There's, uh. A lot of them. You can find a link in the description to a Tumblr that's compiled all of Zami's horribly oppressive transgressions. We are the crystal gems. We'll always save the day. And if you think we can, we'll always find a way. Now, all of this hounding allegedly led up to a suicide attempt by Zami. And the hounding didn't let up even as she was recovering in a hospital. God, you're not the only one in Arcadia Bay with problems. Kate Marsh almost. Yes! Kate Marsh almost killed herself! Such sad, okay? And when one of the show's executive producers, Ian Jones Cordy, condemned the Tumblrinas for what they were doing, saying anybody could draw whatever fan art they wanted. Well, that was no good. So they turned up a piece of Sugar's fan art from several years back, depicting two youngins from Ed, Ed, and Eddie having uh, illicit relations, to put it delicately. So now, according to a vocal slice of Tumblr, Sugar promotes child <laughs> rape. And when you take all of this into consideration, it's hard not to see why there's such a widespread internet consensus. It well and truly seems to be the case that the Steven Universe fandom is officially the worst. We can still save this. Why don't we just bag these up to go and... I wonder what exactly drew these sorts of people to this show. Sure, it appears to stem from Tumblr, but why is that, I wonder? What attracts them? The show does a lot of interesting things with gender. Steven is not your stereotypical, aggressive little boy. He's pretty feminine. Another thing that I absolutely love about the show is that so many of the characters are voiced by awesome women of color. There's also a lot of allusions to lesbian relationships, and even though it's not the same thing as explicit representation, it's still a step forward considering it's a children's cartoon. It's also really interesting because some of the characters straddle the line between masculine and feminine, and it's clear that they don't conform to male or female. I think the show does an interesting Hello? job at portraying non-binary relationships. Hello? 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 I think you may have an idea. Read 
vlog! So what's the best thing I can say about Steven Universe? What praise out there is actually valid? Well, there are a couple of things. It's not Uncle Grandpa. It's not Teen Titans Go. It's not Johnny Test. It's not even Adventure Time, or The Amazing World of Gumball, or Regular Show. Ah! It's not the usual crap, but in a lot of ways, Steven Universe is even worse. Oh, Steven. We already love you. Where is she? It's Jasper. Steven, find the others and get to the control bridge. But I don't know where they are. <gasps> Und es ist ausgeplündert und ausgebrecht worden. Nein, was heißt für diese internationalen Hyänen Demokratie oder autoritärer Staat? Das interessiert die gar nicht. Es interessiert nur eines. Ist jemand bereit, sich ausplündern zu lassen? Ja oder nein? Ist jemand dumm genug, dabei stillzuhalten? Ja oder nein? Und wenn eine Demokratie dumm genug ist, dabei stillzuhalten, dann ist sie gut. Und wenn ein autoritärer Staat erklärt, ihr plündert unser Volk nicht aus, weder innen noch außen, dann ist das schlecht. In diesen Ländern regiert tatsächlich das Kapital. Sie reden von der Freiheit der Presse. In Wirklichkeit hat jede dieser Zeitung einen Herrn. Und dieser Herr ist in jedem Fall der Geldgeber. Diese Presse moduliert nun die öffentliche Meinung. Diese Parteien unterscheiden sich so wenig voneinander, als sie früher bei uns voneinander unterschieden haben. Sie kennen sie ja, die alten Parteien. Das war immer eines und dasselbe. Nun müsste man doch meinen, dass vor allem in diesen Ländern der Freiheit und des Reichtums ein unerhörtes Wohlleben für das Volk bestehen müsste. Es ist aber umgekehrt. In diesen Ländern der sogenannten Demokratie wird ja überhaupt gar nicht das Volk in den Mittelpunkt der Betrachtung gerückt. Was entscheidend ist, ist ausschließlich die Existenz dieser paar Macher der Demokratie. Das heißt also, die Existenz dieser paar hundert gigantischen Kapitalisten, die im Besitz ihrer ganzen Werk, ihrer ganzen Aktien sind, und die letzten Endes damit diese Völker aus, wie sie dirigieren, die breite Masse interessiert sie nicht im Gericht. Nur es sind die Einzigen, die wirklich als internationale Elemente anzusprechen sind, weil sie überall ihre Geschäfte betätigen können. Es ist eine kleine, wurzellose, internationale Clique, die die Völker gegeneinander hetzt, die nicht will, dass sie zur Ruhe kommen. Sie können uns unterdrücken! Sie können uns meinetwegen töten, kapitulieren werden wir nicht!